All right, so for this one, we are going to make a paper towel roll beanstalk. Again, to go with Jack and the Beanstalk. And we need lots and lots of supplies for this one. Sorry, I'm super thirsty. Okay. We need, of course, a paper towel roll. We need at least two sheets of green paper. Um, it's just construction paper. Um, one will be to wrap the paper towel roll, and one will be to make leaves. So of course, we'll need scissors. Um, we need glue or a glue stick. And I got our clothespin so that I can hold it down to dry. Um, I also have masking tape. I decided I'm gonna do something that's not in the instructions to hopefully make things easier. I have my old Nemesis, the double stick tape, which I don't know if that's gonna, I'm gonna use it or not. Um, the regular tape, don't know if I'm gonna use that or not. A hole punch to punch holes in leaves. We need clouds. We need white paper to draw our castle at the top. Hold on a sec. See, whether you know it or not, you are on hold there. <laughs> I forgot that I need plates. Um, one will be the top and we'll make it cloud. And the directions don't say this, but I'm gonna do one and paint it. You can paint it or use your markers, or your markers or crayons or whatever to color it. Um, just gonna color it green to be the ground. And the reason I'm gonna do this is because when it's standing up, I don't want it to, it'll be on the edge like this. It's hard to do this on a phone. I'm sorry, I wish I had a camera. Um, it is hard to balance. So I figure if I glue it to the bottom and the top, I'll put this one upside down to make it stable. And um, I'm just gonna paint this. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and get the painting done. Um, and I just picked green. If you wanna make yours fancy, funky, whatever you want, and make it all different colors or rainbows or black or brown for grass, or I mean grass, dirt, um, you, do it, you do it however you want. Um, I'm using acrylic just because I grabbed that. Um, I also have tempera back there. The type of paint you use really shouldn't matter because it'll soak right in. And the um, plates I'm using are the bigger chinette plates just because they're a little bit sturdier. But in the instructions that you'll see um, in the photos, they just used a regular paper plate. So you know, have at it, go to Dollar Tree, go to wherever, get what you want. Um, so I'm just gonna paint this first so that it can dry. And luckily, as we know, temper covers pretty well and it, um, or I'm sorry, it covers pretty well and dries pretty fast. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this um, and then I'll show you the next step. All right, so that's totally painted um, and it's wet, so I'm gonna put it aside to dry. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is prepare my beanstalk. And the directions say to just roll this on here and glue it. Luckily, paper towel rolls about the same size as your construction paper. However, I'm gonna do something different. Um, just so it's easier to glue to the plates, I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of masking tape on it first and cover my holes on the end. Um, you could probably use a little piece of cardboard or construction paper or whatever. Um, but I'm just gonna use the masking tape because it's here, it's easy. Um, sorry, I keep getting out of frame. Um, so that's just all I'm gonna do. It should make it a lot easier to glue it in the long run. Okay, so now you can see I have masking taped both ends. And then just says to roll this, um, probably to cut it um, to size, but I'm just going to keep rolling it just because every time I go to cut something, I kind of 
overdo it. I, I'm, I'm putting glue on this sucker. Um, <laughs> probably don't really need this much, but I don't know. With me, more is more. So, oh, see, that's why you shouldn't, because you get it all over your hands. That's okay. It dries clear. Okay. So now, unfortunately, because I covered the ends, my, um, my plan with the clothespins is not going to work, but I just think it's better in the long run. You do not have to do this. I'm just going to put, actually, that's a lot of glue. That might just hold. We're going to let that dry. Um, at least it stands up. I'm just gonna let that dry. Um, we'll do it face so the seam is down. Okay, let me go wash the glue off my hands and we'll move on to the next thing. Okay, the next part is we are going to create our castle. Um, I have markers, you can use colored pencils, crayons, chalk, paint, I don't care, whatever you need. Um, and it's gonna go and stand up in here. So if you can see the picture, how they have it standing up. So when you cut it out, you want to have a little bit extra on the bottom. So abracadabra, I cheated. I went ahead and printed this castle out. And I will share that template also on the, um, on our Facebook page with our photos. Um, and the next thing we're gonna do is just cut that out. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And like I said, I'm gonna leave some on the bottom so that it'll stand out. So you don't have to watch me cut. I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so I cut out my castle and I left a really long thing because I just wanna make sure. Um, you wanna fold it at the bottom of the castle and it probably does not need to be this long, but if you want it to be in the middle, um, probably I just kind of folded it and folded it in half. Um, you can even cut that off, it doesn't matter. Um, or you could do it so it stands it up. That's kind of an idea. I'm gonna use tape for that, ha <laughs> ha. Okay, I am just that clever. I'm just gonna make a little lip here. And this way. Eeks. Kind of stands up a little bit. Oh, that didn't work. All right. Anyway, I'm just gonna tape it down here. Um, you can glue it. Try to get it in the middle. Obviously, um, glue is fine. But you're not gonna see any of this, so. Since taping is so much quicker, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I'm just, sorry, I always forget to turn it around for you guys. But then again, I'm sure you know how to tape, so it's not like I'm hiding any secret magic back here. All right, and again, I'm using a lot of tape. And I guess I don't need the double stick tape for anything. And just to be because it's a little floppy, which it's gonna be. I'm just gonna put a tiny piece of tape down here. And you won't really see that. Okay, but again, I just used a template I found for this castle. Um, you can even print out a real castle. You can draw your own castle. You could even try to make a construction out of, I don't know, pipe cleaners. Um, probably wouldn't want to use Legos because that would be a little heavy. I don't know. Get creative. And this is where our cotton balls come in. Um, we're going to make a giant with up in a cloud. So we're going to take a bunch of cotton balls. Now you can just plop them on. We're going to put glue on of course, but I'm just going to show you. You can plop them on. But what I like to do, um, you can also use cotton batting for this, but what I like to do is kind of unravel them. 
these ones, these Equate ones from Walmart, um, I use a lot. They actually unroll. I don't know if all cotton balls do that, probably. Um, but I really just wanna make it really fluffy. So before I even put glue on anything, I'm gonna fluff all these suckers up. Um, you can just tear them apart too. It's just no big deal. Um, we just want it to look nice and fluffy. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on that. And um, you don't wanna watch me do that. So you work on yours and I'll work on mine and we'll meet back here. Okay, I shredded a bunch of them. Um, don't worry if you shred too much because you can always put some aside for um, winter projects. They can be snow and stuff, but you wanna try to see if you at least got your plate covered. Um, have some hang over the edge, you know, because they're clouds. Um, shut that guy up. Okay, and I want to take a little bit out of the front here because I want to be able to see the doorway. And this will also help it to stand up because you're fucking not back. Um, so we're going to do, we know that's going to work. I'm going to take it off and I'm just going to Put a whole mess of glue down there, I'm putting it around the side, in the back. Um, you can use your glue spreader or a paintbrush to spread the glue around if you'd like. Um, however you want to do it. Um, I have this little bottle. I'm just going to do this. It'll be good. And the cotton will kind of cling to itself. Um, and this isn't really a play craft, so you're going to probably just set it up on a shelf or something when it's done. Oh, and I just wanted to remind you guys, like, I know this week and last week with the gnomes, those um, kind of were lengthy. All right, I hope this is okay. I had to delete a bunch of my apps. Um, we're going to make our leaves. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and fold this. Um, the picture, it looks like they just did some um, arrow, or like, yeah, little arrow triangles, whatever, thingies. Um, I'd like mine to look a little bit more leafy, but it doesn't have to. Um, so, I'm just going to... them like this and they're not going to be perfect they're not going to um, look like any I don't know what bean leaves look like they're all going to be unique I guess got a nice round one there They're all different. Um, so this is fun. This could be good for practicing serve skills with the little guys because um, they don't really have to be perfect in any way. And well, actually nothing ever has to be perfect. I don't know why I keep saying that. But um, this way, if you want to draw some on there, they can practice following the lines. Um, but that's it, I got some leaves. So there's a bunch. I don't know how many I'll need. Um, so I'm just gonna start grabbing them, do a few at a time, and just punch a hole where you would think the stem would be. So, you know, and that's what we'll attach to our uh, pipe cleaner. Now, see, you don't want to do too many at one time. I think it kind of stuck and it's a little frustrating, but, you know, things happen. All right. Let me go ahead and finish these and be right back. All right, well, the instructions say to go, this is still a little damp, but that's okay. 
um, to thread them on and then wind it up. Um, I think we're gonna need at least two of them. So, I'm just gonna fold that up a tiny bit so that they don't fall off. I'll just stick some on. Um, if you wanna get really into it, um, you know, you could look up what a beanstalk's leaves look like. Um, you might wanna talk about how um, see how I have some smaller and big ones. Um, typically on a plant like this, the bigger leaves will be near the bottom because um, they kind of support it. But it um, doesn't really matter. Um, if you just want it to be an art craft or project or whatever, um, it's fine. So, and remember, we can always take some off. Um, so I'm just going to thread these on and we'll start wrapping it and then if it's too much we can take leaves off. I think we're going to need at least two pipe cleaners. Um, so that's, I have a whole bag of them here, but so that's what I have ready though and we can make it work. Um, it says to go ahead and staple it, but since I went ahead and put that tape on there so that it'll stick to the plates better. Um, I'm probably just going to tape it. I could put a little glue on it, I guess. We'll see. I'm just going to pause you guys so that I can work on this and then I'll show you how to wrap it. All right, I got them on both. Um, so I'm going to start at the bottom here. I think we are going to have to tape or something. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to have to do something. I am going to go ahead and tape it. And we can hide it with leaf. That's that's my plan. Probably could fit a stapler up in there. Um, but I just don't want to make it any more difficult um, than it has to be. So, a little teeth there. And then, see here, a little you spread them out a bit. I think I'm just gonna, um, as I pull them up, I can kind of fold them out so they stick out. So that's kind of cool, okay. Um, definitely might be too many leaves on one, I'm not sure. Um, another idea I was kind of thinking of, like, I know it's probably late in the season now, but um, I know at the beginning of summer, Dollar Tree always has all that hula, luau, tiki stuff, um, grass skirts and stuff. Um, you can always just get one of those grass skirts and wrap it around or get like Christmas garland wrapped around. Um, Whatever you'd like. I kind of think too many leaves. Okay. Very, very healthy plant with all these leaves. Um, what I'm going to do here, have it nice and tight around here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this a little bit. Again, wrapping it up, um, too many leaves. <laughs> I always go overboard, don't I? All right. Um, pull this around here. Of course, that's right in the front, isn't it? I'm just going to put this leaf right over top of the knot here. And we're going to get this to go. We're going to get it to look really cute. Um, but you can see what I'm doing. So maybe I should just turn off the camera. So, ooh, what if I put one leaf on top and one leaf on the bottom? 
There you go. Oh, and then we can use our good friend, the double stick tape. <laughs> All right. Sorry, that's weirdo laugh. All right. And then I'll trim it up after. So now you can't even tell it's together. Yeah, okay. So I'm just gonna go and do this the rest of the way up and then um, tape it at the top so you'll see. Okay, so as you can see, it's, um, it's there. <laughs> um, there is some tape on the back that is up the seam though, you can see that. Um, so that'll be in the back anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and check on um, the plate that we paint, painted. And if that's all done and dry, then we can finish this up. And we'll be done for the day. All right, hold on. All right, so all we wanna do, this is um, mostly dry. There's a little bit of wet spot there, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some glue on here. Um, maybe I should put it on this part. I just grabbed this other glue because the other one was empty. This is kind of not wanting to come out very fast. All right, you know what we do? Go ahead and do it the old fashioned way. A little bit of tacky glue there. Glue it up right. All right. And again, it dries clear, so. All right, and now when you put the top on, it's hard to do this. Um, you wanna make sure that um, you know where the seam is and everything, so you put that in the back. Um, it's really hard to do this. I'm so sorry. Okay. So this one, I'm just going to put a big lump of glue. Oh, all right. I'll make sure our castle doesn't tumble to earth. The giant's castle after all. It would crush anything below it. Okay, now I have the seam facing my way. And here's the proud thing. I'm just gonna stick it right on the top in the center as well as I can. I'm gonna turn it around to face me. I'm gonna have to let this dry. Um, Gonna turn the camera off and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like from the front. Okay, so there it is. I'll take another little video once it's completely dry. I'm gonna go ahead and prop it up so it stays um, and let it dry overnight. All right, so there it is. There's our beanstalk. You have, uh, it's a little wobbly, but it true dried pretty well. Um, in the back little clouds coming off that's cute so that's what it looks like um didn't turn out too bad huh so yeah again with the castle you can make your own definitely but i will have um this castle available if you want to just print it out and that's it